Hi everyone, we are back in this video with a lab from JSMON and in this video I'm going to show you how a simple JavaScript file can leak millions of users PII data. So to start with, as we can see, we have a user management system here, prod UMS, it's in production and uh, it, it requires SSO login. So it's a single sign on login that will give you access to the system and maybe the other systems which are present in this lab but it requires a username and the password. So if you will try with the default username and the password, it will say login failed SSO authentication required. And as a hacker or as a security researcher, uh, we, we should definitely try with, you know, brute forcing the username and the password that may work. But as this is a lab and it is intentionally made to show you something uh, which is aligned to JavaScript. So let's try to dig inside the javascript files so if we'll go here we can see we have a script src is equal to script.js that is embedded in this html page we can go into the sources as well and we can see there is a script.js file right here so we can try to copy this file and put it in our text editor like this and we can start reading this. It's just 138 lines. We should definitely read this. It's a very small JavaScript file. We can see here there is a login endpoint with the post as the request method and it is taking username and password in the request body. So as we can see here, we are making fetch. We are using the fetch JavaScript function to make the HTTP calls. Uh, as a security researcher, you should also look for XHR calls or Xios calls because those are also similar HTTP calls which are used in JavaScript files to make uh, make calls to API endpoints, right? So we can we should search for a wait fetch here, and we can see we have five match five matches right here. So there is API login, there is add user, there is edit user, there is delete user, and there is a view all users. And luckily, this is a commented code. As a hacker, you should look for other functions as well. As I, as I said before, is uh, already uh, that's because there are multiple developers present in an organization and some people prefer fetch, some people prefer XHR or some people prefer Xios calls, right? Everyone have their own preferences. So what we can do right here is we can take these, uh, all these API endpoints, note, note down the methods and what are the parameters which are going inside the request bodies, right? And then we can make, we can try hitting or making the curl request. Another way to easily fetch these API endpoints is uh, by using Firefox. Inside the Firefox, you can open, go to labs.jsmon.sh and uh, click on inspect, go to debugger, click on search and you can search for fetch. And you will be able to see that there are like five, uh, these these uh, six matches which are right here. Uh, there is another one which is console.error, which is error fetching. This is not an API call, but here we have five API calls which are right here and this one is commented. Obviously, you should always pay attention to the commented code because either it is not in use anymore, it could be deprecated in API endpoint, but you, sh you should always try to hit all the API endpoints which are present in the JS file. Maybe there is an API endpoint which is still uh, present uh, or, you know, some, it, it could be some hidden component because as we can see, uh, there is, this is the login screen, but, and there is no add user, edit user, delete user option right here on this panel, but we can see the API endpoints right from here, from the JS file. Right. So we sh uh, now uh, as a hacker, you should try to hit these endpoints and maybe add user, edit user and delete user can work without the authorization token or some API key. Right. So what we should do now is because we know already that this is a commented API endpoint. Uh, we can go and take a look at this. I can expand this a little bit. It is view all users. We can see that it is, uh, it, it's a, uh, it's on click. It is working. So it must be a get API endpoint, uh, not post, put, delete. Uh, so we should try to make a get call right here. So now I'm on my terminal and we'll make a get request HTTP. Remember this, that it's, uh, this labs.js monitor search. It is not HTTPS, but it is HTTP currently and we can make a request to view all users and we can see that we have the json we have all the users data in json uh, this object 
so that's how uh, you know some a javascript file can leak an api endpoint which is deprecated or not in use anymore but when a security researcher or an ethical hacker a bug bounty hunter or maybe should not happen but if a black hat hacker finds it and he uploads his data uh, onto uh, a data breach forum or something in that case it is millions lost right so that's why the lab name was javascript to millions lost uh if anyone wants to solve this lab they can go to labs.jsmonodesh it will always be online thank you